Good morning, folks. 131 angstroms, where solar flares or bright flashes, is noticeably dim. No eruptions in Earth's direction. Well, what about filaments? Each of these red areas represents a filament. We have no major ones, but 7, 9, 1, and 2 together form that backward C shape trekking across the disk. Again, thus far we have no eruptions. The other filaments are small, and although good release candidates, they're incapable of causing too much of a commotion. This is one reason we have no flares. The sunspots are virtually absent from the Earth-facing side, which is good because NOAA's space weather monitoring cut out and just returned the last few hours. Proton flux did it like the X-ray flux. Solar wind, too. Luckily, it appears to be calming. Indeed, it's nice to see STO images able to make up for the lack of data back here at Earth. KP is formula-based and stayed up for the duration. Our shield is calm. Coronal holes. Primary note of the negative opening is south with a far transequatorial extension up at the north. Without an equatorial visibility, it will not give the highest quake signal, but at least a minor watch is in order as the force displayed by this corona hole is sufficient to warrant an uptick. Now while we wait for it, it's mostly rare locations rumbling and not large magnitude quakes, like this one between France and the UK. Pretty rare. Always remember that volcanoes are part of the watches as well, and good old Popo is putting on a bit of a show down in Mexico once more. This volcano is relatively active and has been erupting every few months for some time now. Other top news. We are almost seeing dawn in orbit of Ceres. It is so close I can taste it, and the bright spot, or should I say spots, are a mystery I am so ready to have solved. It's not even funny. We're just days away. Also, look at this NASA release. 2014 on the left, 2015 on the right. Is it just me, or does vegetation seem to have bounced back enough to see the color differential in two places here? Seems to be so. Snow records getting their asters kicked as storm after storm pulls moisture up from the south only to be frozen as it wraps around to the north and the west of the lows, meeting an arctic blast that's shifting southward, including to this other storm in the west. Yes, another one right behind the current storm, folks. Boston is one of about 30 cities to have broken their winter records, and that could be 50 or 60 by the middle of next week. Europe. That earth spot over the Iceland volcano is now the strongest system on earth. Powerful reinforced drive from the southern highs in the Atlantic create a monster convergence here. Also got a low in the Mediterranean feeding another low just to its northeast about its two o'clock position. Weather warnings follow that convergence and the two southern lows. Down under. It's a story of ocean moisture driving onshore from almost every angle every angle but the south. The southern flow makes it up to nearly the northern coastlines to create a convergence and so we have coastal alerts everywhere but in the south. North Island of New Zealand takes the better of it to the east today. Website members, if you're diligent, you've likely noticed the new section. Due to the popularity of Fly on the Wall and Deeper Look, we have decided to add some more similar content to the site for you guys. We're looking at about 150 hours of material on the site right now with another 75 to 100 coming the rest of this year. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's just after 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.